Before leaving home, you're prepared. The one thing people are never prepared for is an accident. Download my free I Crashed phone app to walk you through collecting the important information. I'm Wes Pittman, 784-9000. A Jackson County grave site involved in a state criminal investigation is getting a second look. For years, men who were sentenced to the Dozier School for Boys have alleged that some of those buried at the now closed school were killed by staff. News 13's Alyssa Hyman joins us tonight. Alyssa, for the first time, someone is going to physically check these graves? That's right. Although the Florida Department of Law Enforcement's 2009 investigation found no wrongdoing, the University of South Florida is researching the unmarked graves as a part of a project. Deep within the soil on the former Arthur G. Dozier School for Boys may lie the answers to more than 50 missing bodies, deaths recorded between 1911 and 1973. We look for historical documentation and records. We look at witness interviews and what people say who have first-hand knowledge about the graves in the cemetery. A team from the University of South Florida is conducting research at the historic Boot Hill Cemetery. In a letter to the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, USF researchers say while 31 metal crosses mark the site, school records suggest only 21 bodies are buried there and the location of more than 50 others are unknown. What's sort of unknown is whether those crosses really correspond to actual graves and what the real perimeter of the cemetery is. This archaeological research will consist of remote sensing and ground penetrating radar to determine the number, location and identity of the grave. There are questions that the public and families have and hopefully this will answer some of those questions. Questions White House boys like Brian Middleton, who say they endured physical beatings more than 50 years ago, are hoping to find the answers to. I'm, I'm just hoping that uh, when it all is said and done, I'm really hoping that uh, all children will be sent home to their parents and to their family members. They will be identified. They will not simply be thrown in a hole without a marking identifying who they are. The FDLE has declined to comment the former Dozier School for Boys closed more than a year ago.